Just a couple of days away from St. Patrick's Day, and here to help us get in the spirit and kick off the holiday with a bang is our good friend, event planner Mark Addison. You have got a quite the spread here, and uh, I think we're going to start with the libations. Is that well, correct? Well, we are, but th the great thing about St. Patrick's Day this year is it's on a Saturday. Oh, so yeah. I'm suggesting have a brunch and get your celebration started a little bit earlier. So I'm going to show you some really clever coffee cocktails. Okay. Of course, Irish beers yep. and some traditional Irish foods mixed with French, uh, some brunch favorites that it's going to make everyone green. How nice days. is it that your post St. Patrick's Day hangover happens to come on a <laughs> Sunday this year? Well, you just wrap it up and you can have it the next day too. Fantastic. All right. So start right. over here with the uh, oh good the, the coffee clever drinks. coffee cocktails. Of course, you have to make an Irish coffee. We have a traditional, which is coffee, and you have Bush Mills, which is an Irish whiskey. Right. And then you add your Irish cream and a little bit of cream on top. It is such Classic. a good, like, sort of like cold weather little sipper and morning. Yes. I'm not that I generally drink a lot. Now in the we're morning, gonna mix it up. I've to. got another hot version for you, but this replaces the coffee with hot chocolate. Oh yeah. And yummy. we're gonna add a coffee flavor in there so you get that coffee flavor again, but it's a velvet mocha. Okay. And then we're doing an iced Irish. So this is like one of those blended Irish coffee drinks. Right. Which is really great and fun. But we're gonna put a little mint chocolate Irish cream as well with coffee and make it the whip. Kind of like up. your Starbucks mocha except but it has it's coffee a... ice cream in it too. Oh so it's like delish. A and then the Irish martini and we're replacing the bush mills with a vodka. Okay. And then we're going to add the caramel into it, and we drizzle some more caramel in there. So it's a really great. The only sweet question cocktail. is which do I drink first? Because those uh, all look really awesome. I, I would go hot to cold. Hot to cold, very good. good. I right. like it. I and like now it. we have to have beer. This is our yeah. Irish beer brunch, so you have to drink Irish beer. My two favorites are Guinness and Harp. Yeah. Because they make my favorite beer cocktail. Well, I think Irish beer. I think Guinness. It's hard not to. It is. You know. And Harp is the ale, so you have a stout and an ale. Right. And my favorite drink, way to drink them both at the same time, is called a black and tan. Yes, I know so this drink, see, but I don't know how to make it. Well, what you have to do is you have to pour in your heart first, pour your ale in first, and then you get the uh, Guinness draft can because this mimics the draft beer that comes right out of the quality. Can. You can't do this with a, another bottled beer, so you have to use this stout, and you pour it over the back of a spoon gently so it rolls down the side of the glass. Got it. Keeping the stout separated from the ale and getting and your kind of that layering effect that gives black you your black and, and tan. tan. Yes, and it blends as you drink. Very nice. Quite great. And Very then another nice. one I have, which is also with Guinness, a little bit more of a fancy drink. I call it the Black Velvet. Okay. And it's half champagne, half Guinness. Oh, very upscale. Very classy and nice. And then a little bit more old school. Okay. It's not like you used to have like a shot, of, a back of shot. Right. This is called a Fighting Irish because you have your shot of Bushmills in your harps. Wow, a an alcoholic drink called the Fighting Irish. The we Fighting are stereotyping Irish. as well as anybody today. I love it. And then I have a really creative, clever one that I'm calling the Irish Margarita. Margarita, got to be, yeah. It's in a margarita glass. It's with Bushmills and the harps, and we add a little bit of sour mix in there to get that sour flavor. It's great. Boy, if you can't get your drink on with all these recipes, you are in trouble. But you now always show, have now show to... us we're going to eat. we got to mitigate we... all that alcohol. Was okay, we do. So I'm taking a traditional Irish breakfast, which you see plated here. I'm making an Irish Eggs Benedict. So it has Ooh. Irish soda bread, it has corned beef, it has cabbage, a poached egg, of course, and green hollandaise sauce. And I just tinted it green with green onion and with um, a little that bit of parsley. That is fantastic. We have soda bread and corned beef and cabbage at my house every year. My wife's Irish. It's a it's new way. It's eating. a totally different way. I'm sure. Benedict. Love it. We have it. potato pancakes. We've cut up into little coins and we drizzled with a little Guinness syrup and oh. dusted with a gold thing. So these are gold coin pancakes. That looks great. I love these. These are a beef and a, um, a lamb stews and they're individual stews that you cook into it's little. It's almost like a pot pie, but you it cook is, it into this little. Oh, well, I love this that. This is a canning jar. So oh. you can put the lid back on it and put it back in the refrigerator or the freezer and save it, and Fantastic. they're great to travel with. That's my pro tip for the day. Love it. And then you have to have some sweet Dublin desserts. Okay. And a little Irish barrel coming out. Um, we have these, we have these great whoopie pies, and I said it before: whoopie pies are the thing for 2012. All right. And our drinks are. Well, this is not a drink. This isn't a drink, dessert. but it's a dessert and a drink. So it's a Guinness float. So it's Guinness with vanilla ice cream on top of ice it. Cream. It's a drink and a dessert all in one. And I love this little parfait. It's an Irish cream parfait. So it's a traditional wow. Irish cream pudding, and you layer it with granola because it makes it feel a little bit more breakfast. It's great, but you, no matter how you celebrate, though, you always have to remember to drink and entertain responsibly, nice. especially on St. Patrick's Day. See, has a bad rep. He gave you 38 drink recipes and then told you to be responsible about it. Good luck with that. But don't drink and drive. Needless to say. Needless to say. Have a good and safe one. You great. can find other St. Patty's Day party ideas on our website, bettertv.com, and we will throw these recipes up. I love this.